What's up YouTube? Uh, I guess two videos in the same uh, day. Uh, I totally forgot to add what I did to the last of the fuel pump. So the other god long video of me ranting and raving about what is what, um, I forgot to show you how I finished off the fuel pump. So let me fl flip this around. So I mentioned about doing a pop rivet and instead drilled the hole, drew the clamp, through the bracket, oh, come on, focus, and um, welded a you know, screw, and then put a nut on it. So here's my return pipe. That's actually mounted, which holds the clamp, which holds this. I might trim this. I need to find out how much bigger, uh, if, if these pumps get much bigger. I don't want to trim too much off this. Not like it's that hard to drill, you know, a small hole through the clamp. But, you're wondering what the little bracket is. Come on, focus. Um, once again, another Harbor Freight Special. So, it is a body shim. So, they come in different thicknesses. I think I went with the, uh, uh, let's see, which one was it? Um, yeah, that was this one. I guess the 1 16th. So, thick enough to weld and not burn through, and it makes a really nice tube bracket. So, if I need to, I could unscrew the tube. And then, you know, if I need to, you know, I could still cut this screw off and put the second pump on this side. If I ever do really need a second pump, you know, just future engineering. And then, you know, everything dumps out. Right behind the strainer, that's the new sock. Um, the electrical and the uh, flow gizmo isn't on this yet because I still need to make this piece of pipe the right length. And I could still twist this either way. You know, if I want this to, you know, dump fuel right straight back into the the strainer or not. And once again, since I got so many of these clips. I can make new tubes, curve this way, do a loop-de-loop, -loop, whatever the hell. So, um, there's my fuel hat, and then I've been putting all the tidbits back under the car. So let's, uh, since I'm making a video, I might as well show you guys. So my fuel lines are cut, and then underneath, I still need to make another bracket uh, to hold the fuel filter. There's my nice fuel injected clamps, a filter, my kooky ass subframe connector, so I guess uh, the battery's kind of dead, so got all the studs and bolts in for the cross member, um, probably another hose clamp with a hole in it. There's my fuel lines with these connectors that yeah, run really tight up in here. And then those are my new brackets. One there, then that guy right there that I got from Denza Niatas in Florida. Yeah, Taylor Ray's buddy. Uh, here's my e brake setup. That's all connected, so fuel lines are in, e brakes hooked up. Still need to do a nut bull check. Uh, I still need to find some washers for that and then you know, spray uh, or paint all my uh, ugly welds here. And then, um, yeah, there's my union for my last bit of brake line I had to make. It came out pretty nice. I still need to patch that hole there. And then this monster over here. But, uh, that is uh, where I'm at. Uh, got some free time to play in the garage. And let's get some better lighting here. And uh, yeah, just piecing back together 
That way I could flip it around, try to squeeze the motor in. So until next time, thanks for watching, subscribing, peace out.